So while I was on the Roland website, I thought I'd just do some checks on the drivers and firmware versions for some other uh, pieces of equipment I own. So I jumped onto the Jupiter 80 uh, download page, and as you can see, the latest version of the system software for the Jupiter 80 is 2.11, uh, and I'm on 2.10, so I'll be doing an update. But before I can do an update to the system software, I've also I've got to make sure that the Mac can read the Jupiter 80. And I realise that I don't have the latest driver installed for the Jupiter 80 either. So this is an install of the Mac driver version 1.03 onto my Macintosh so that I can then do the Jupiter 80 system update. So like many of the other Mac uh, driver updates, the file is downloaded as a tar file first thing to do is extract that to a folder do that by double clicking as you can see the folder has now appeared and if i double click on the folder to expand it you can see there are the components of the folder and there is the package to install the driver i'm now going to install the package by double clicking that it's telling me that this package is going to run some software to be installed. Do I want to continue? Of course I do. Uh, now we're onto the installation screen. Of course I want to continue. Yes, I do want to install the software. Now when I click install, it's going to ask me for my username and password because that's how my Mac is set up, which will be done off screen. And then we'll come back just after I've done that. Now I've entered my username and password. We continue the installation by hitting continue. Now we've had this on the previous installation of the latest version. At this point you click OK. To correct the error message we click on the Apple symbol, we go System Preferences. We then go into Security and Privacy. And it's now asking me do I want to allow the developer Roland Corporation from loading software. Well of course I want to allow it so we click allow and then we close this screen by hitting the red X now in the background the Jupiter driver has finished installing and it's now asking me do I want to restart the machine the answer is yes I am going to restart the machine so I'll stop the recording right at this point I'm going to plug the Jupiter into the Mac like so and we're going to check the drivers installed correctly and we do that by clicking the Mac, the Apple symbol, going to System Preferences. You can see there's a Jupyter icon down there. If we double click on that, it should present me with that screen without any error message, which it does do, which means the Jupyter and the computer are now connected. Driver installed. The final part is to get rid of the driver files, so I just highlight both of those and hit move to trash.